Hello everybody, this is Simply Connect and this is the second podcast of our series. In this series, we talk to people from various industries to understand as to how IoT is driving different kinds of efficiencies in their sector. Uh, last week, I talked to Pankaj Parvanda, uh, who is a co-founder at GoStops, to understand as to how new age hospitality startups are adopting IoT. This week, I'll be talking to Mr. Kedar Soman, who is the CTO of eBike Go, to understand as to how new age mobility companies are adopting IoT. The first question that I have is, please uh, introduce yourself and your startup. Okay. So, hello everyone. Uh, thanks for having me here. My name is Kedar Soman and uh, my startup is eBike Go. Uh, it's a little over two-year-old startup and we are into uh, fleet renting of uh, electric uh, bikes. Our primary area, our primary domain is uh, business to business uh, customers. Uh, when, uh, you know, uh, sometime back when we started operations, we saw that there was, uh, there was a legitimate need for a player like us that uh, there was a segment uh, in the mobility where the electric bikes did make a strong economical sense for various reasons such as uh, lack of manufacturers or lack of knowledge. Uh, they were not ready to take jump in. So that's where we, you know, with that uh, specific uh, need, we started operating and so, so far we have a huge demand and uh, uh, we just went through uh, some successful fundraising round and, uh, you know, we are looking to expand rapidly. Uh, this uh, little uh, wrinkle has, uh, you know, so, uh, not quite slowed us down, but, you know, uh, this whole coronavirus thing, it has, uh, uh, you know, just like everyone else, we are pausing. But clearly, even after coronavirus, we see that the whole delivery economy is actually going to thrive even more. So we are, we are uh, very much uh, looking forward to, uh, you know, hit the road running. We are already running, but accelerate even more. Uh, in near future. Perfect. Sounds great. Uh, so, Kedar, uh, one question that I had was, uh, were you guys among the first people to sort of give electric scooters for rent in India? Like, one of the first people to do that in India? See, uh, uh, the, you know, there are, when you say rent, there are many, uh, you know, many ways Person A gives person B electric scooter and takes money from them. One is rent. And, you know, then there are banks charging you AMI. That, that is super long term. And then there was what a very small a term was like you rent them per hour or per day. There were many companies doing that. Uh, so there at one end, you have companies who are renting per hour uh, or per ride. And at the other end, your rent uh, company is giving things to you on EMI, which you practically own. But it's till you pay the EMI, it still belongs to the bank. Uh, we fit somewhere in the middle. And we do believe that if we were the first in that particular area, yeah, if not one of the first, we were the first. Uh, so, Mr. Kedar, really well articulated. Uh, my next question is, what is the future of shared e-mobility? And please help us understand your vision. Sure, yeah. So, um, as uh, you clearly know, electric vehicles, the way they differ from petrol vehicles is their uh, upfront cost is more, but the cost of operation is less. Uh, so, they make a very strong candidate for shared mobility. Uh, so, I see this as a, uh, you know, uh, I do see that uh, there is a huge, huge untapped opportunity. We are barely, with all so many thousands of more than 100,000 vehicles, we have barely scratched uh, the surface of this opportunity. Um, this is, this is uh, what many experts have described as a confluence of trends. You know, one is clearly there is a trend towards e-mobility because it's environmentally friendly. It's uh, even though the capital cost, upfront cost is less, the operation cost is uh, low, so the total cost of ownership still, you know, it's in slightly in favor of electric vehicles if you are driving them enough. Um, also, with the IoT and uh, the whole revolution uh, happening in technology and in data analytics, AI, you know, the uh, it, it, this trend also favored the shared mobility aspect uh, uh, very strongly. So I do think that uh, you know, shared mobility has huge huge future and electric mobility is going to play a significant if not 
the you know the whole part uh, completely dominating part of it and uh, uh, the, you know the as uh, the you may be aware of the statistic currently india has like close to uh, 30 crore two wheelers uh, registered and running on yes. roads and uh, you know so there is uh, right now the way mostly the market is working is uh, ownership of vehicles and uh, petrol vehicles but uh, uh, you know that it uh, when when this thing uh, the whole confluence and the product and services are going to Uh, go past a certain uh, what do you can say critical mass and critical momentum then that is going to be unstoppable and we are going to see very rapid changes uh, in this uh, scenario we will see a major shift towards share mobility especially electric mobility yes uh, and i believe the government is uh, supporting this cause a lot and i think government not just in india it's internationally as well the international community is lobbying for shared uh, special specifically electric mobility in order to you know be more sustainable and be more efficient uh with this Absolutely. i uh with this i have my i will jump into the next question which is how is iot changing your business uh actually the way i uh, uh you know the way i think of is is iot is not quite changing in the business as such iot is making the business very possible i mean you know without uh, this without the iot support uh sharing type of businesses uh, pretty much would not have been uh, possible uh so you could do it at a very rudimentary level like people used to do like you know bike renting when i was a kid so you pay some like you know 5 rupees to that person and you rent the bike for an hour or something but then you have no control over the bike when the person has taken the bike you don't know how they are riding you don't know where they are and you know unless you know them personally unless you have relationship with them uh, you are taking a major risk and giving a mobile asset to uh, someone so with iot the fact that uh, you know we are able to track uh, the vehicle and we are able to also to some extent keep tab on the vehicle like you know some of the telematics uh, features that uh, we are exploring and some uh, there are some companies also that provide this feature that if there is a crash or you know if the car uh, uh, doesn't drive properly then then you get a feedback so this is significantly reducing the risk uh, to owner of the asset uh, in this whole renting model and uh, so you know this is one way they are uh, you know, this is pretty much you know helping the business in a big way if not at all making if not making the business possible at all and uh, you know this uh, obviously tracking and safety is there and there is also optimization so with all the data that is pouring in then you are able to much better uh, handle the surges in demand and the spikes and you know distribute your resources properly uh so uh, on on this several dimensions uh you know tracking safety and uh, you, you know tracking getting data for optimization iot has been a huge boost for the uh, sharing uh, type of businesses understood understood uh kedar uh, with this i will jump to my next question which is uh, from the point of view of a delivery company what mm-hmm. kind of efficiencies can iot bring to the table uh, just just like thinking uh-huh. out loud with you uh one thing is uh what i can understand is so for a company like swiggy or for a company like zomato they would want to know as to under what conditions uh, was their food delivered to the customer right so what was the temperature mm-hmm. of the of the whatever you that box where the food is kept what was the pressure or maybe different kinds of parameters that they would want to track so that uh, they are able to challenge even those farm to table companies that say that we you know we make sure that from the point where your food is grown till the point it comes to your table it is you know uh, it is monitored properly and hence you can trust us more so they can end up challenging them as well because uh, you know they are tracking as to what is the condition in which food is being delivered to the end customer so that's one tangent yeah, that you can touch on uh so there is this whole spectrum of delivery companies uh, you know some the companies that do light load deliver light loads delivery component that do de- valuable delivery component that do perishable delivery 
then there is of course food delivery then there is you know the grocery and other items delivery like amazon and they have different setup of warehouses and then you know they have different load conditions and then they have different time constraints and uh, obviously as any business has uh, two primary uh, goals is a how to improve the customer service or customer experience and b how to reduce cost right so on both these fronts uh, this uh, uh, you know iot can make a huge difference uh, for delivery companies uh, you know right now with the uh, they have this whole uh, data available of uh, what deliveries were done and uh, you know based on that uh, they can uh, track many variables in their industry uh, one is you know the driver variable how the driver is behaving are they are they doing things reliably are they like you know stopping somewhere going are they doing enough in the day and then there is a vehicle uh, aspect and you know if they uh, many times they are companies so far they were trying to keep their model simple by asking the driver to bring the vehicle but uh, now with a partner like e-bike go they can you know partner with us and they can have this whole vehicle thing taken care of so uh, you know again having switching to electric mobility which is enabled by iot delivers a major uh, cost advantage to them uh, so when a food company is doing delivery right then they what they typically looking for in a improving experience is uh, delivery of food should happen on time in a reliable you know whatever promise you make whatever 30 minutes or the estimate that is shown uh, when the food arrives it should not be all mixed up leaking or you know wasted uh, it should arrive at a decent uh, temperature uh, all these variables uh, can be tracked and you know that the time of the delivery and you know how much is has the driver taken too many uh turns is you know have too many times the box of carrying food was uh, shocked or you know the how the, the was the package still like you know in an integrated shape when it when it reached uh what was the temperature all these things uh, can be tracked uh now you can you know going to uh, any other delivery like valuables uh, delivery right you can track the person and see if the person is taking some unscheduled stops or you know taking a way that was not uh, meant to take and uh, you know you when you uh, when a customer complains either when you want to work with the customer or when or to warn the driver or when you want to work with the driver to make a case to the customer that you know things were del- delivered on time you have data in your hand so that is a big difference and that is uh, you know on on all these aspects on both these areas improving the customer experience as well as reducing the cost uh, you know the iot has been iot can be a big help uh, to this delivery companies uh, sure. i'll now move on to the next question which is uh, do you think that the adoption of iot uh, in automobile has been a bit slow if yes then why do you think so yeah yes um i do think that the adoption of iot uh, and uh, you know several some areas of technology has been a little slow in automobile sector and uh, long time back i had written uh, an article on plug in india uh, blog about this uh, uh, you know typically when the whole automobile sector it focused on manufacturing primarily and the design and r and development of the vehicle and they, there were some areas that were you know when you talked about automobiles and technology some areas that in your mind were like engine development you know fuel injection systems and such and then there was you know all the improvements that could happen in uh, manufacturing or so there was this one side there was engine and power train uh, developments and then there was manufacturing uh, so several other dimensions of technology were really uh, really under explored in uh, automobiles and to a large extent it because it behaved like any other typically well established business you know there was what i call it as a nash equilibrium uh, so if you you know google and study a little bit more this term the nash equilibrium happens when several people are interacting and then person a anticipates person b will do something and person b also anticipates person a will do something and both their anticipations are correct then they just are sort of this in this uh, you know 
dance when they keep on doing the same thing uh, expecting the other person to do the same thing so the automobile business there was no new challenger so to speak so the you know i was in us uh, for a long time and giving example of us you know the big two or three manufacturers ford gm chrysler they were exactly you know pretty much you know everybody was in a comfort zone and uh, nobody was doing anything out of comfort zone till tesla came in and they introduced this huge hugely different and something that people hadn't even thought of uh, automobile companies hadn't even thought of doing such as you know automating driving as fast that was you know very much enabled by iot and uh, those companies were just shocked out of uh, their slumber so uh, the automobile companies they are being such a giant big companies slow to change they have really not explored many areas in technologies especially iot and they have been slow to adopt iot but uh, the time will leave, leave them no choice they will have to adopt iot they will have to put in lot of this you know uh, the iot sensors and uh, uh, this automated features on their vehicles and they will have to go in in that direction in near future yeah and i think like many of them have already started doing it uh, now uh, Uh, like uh, ferrari mahindra all of them are getting into uh, you know iot based uh, connected car they connected many of them are getting into connected cars now even you know there are there are uh, like uh, uh, various uh, you know uh, areas where you can focus for the delivering the iot uh, benefits so one area is the user personalization you know all the seat location uh, or seat uh, position and music and driving steering wheel position all all of that area second area is the automated driving hmm. so com- companies are exploring different areas some are more adventurous uh, than others in exploring these new technologies and especially what we will see is as the electric vehicles uh, become more mainstream uh, as of right now uh, the whole design of vehicles was highly uh, uh you know driven the whole form factors of the vehicle where should the engine go where should the gears go where should the tires go seats go all that was uh, uh seriously constrained uh by uh, the internal combustion engines uh now with the electric vehicle you know you can give the whole vehicle uh you can redesign the vehicle like from grounds up you can you know that's why you can have like even a push type of scooter that can be a vehicle that can take you 20 kilometers and you can have vehicles that actually you know you have bikes that you can throw in your backpack so with this all these new form factors of vehicles uh you, you know two wheelers three wheelers four wheelers you will have a lot more opportunities to play with the vehicle uh, and you know use iot in various ways uh to you know deliver the next uh, next level of mobility experience so kedar uh I think uh, we got a really great insights from you and I think everyone uh, who is watching this uh, right now uh, mm-hmm. will like would have understood the sector much much better and how IoT is impact like how IoT is helping uh, this entire sector drive more efficiencies uh, with this I think I will have to conclude uh, it was great having you uh, yeah thanks a lot for joining us uh, yeah for everyone else i'll be doing more videos like these and i'll be talking to people from various industries uh, on a on on a weekly basis every week i'll be talking to someone from a different industry and to understand as to how iot and technology as a whole is helping them drive efficiencies and or impacting their business in a different way